there welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on another spring makeup trend and this trend is pastel eyes you can use any types of blue maybe um, lavender pinks anything that you find that's pastel like it is a little bit difficult to find these colors uh, some matte shadows are a little bit harder to apply because they don't stick on the eye as well But I'll show you guys a tip on how to make it work and if you guys use a shimmer color, that's fine, too I just chose all matte with a glossy lip So if you're interested in seeing how I created this entire look then keep on watching as always you guys can subscribe to my channel to see more out of me and You guys can also hit the little bell notification to be notified when I upload so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm super excited for this trend. It is my favorite. So first thing I'm gonna do is use this BH Cosmetics foundation. We're gonna even out the skin, just have a nice base. This is an all-time favorite of mine, so this is my choice for today. I really like this foundation because it's super buildable, it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's kind of like just a perfect natural finish of the skin and it gives a healthy glow and I am on the oilier side and this foundation seriously is awesome. I'm on my third bottle of this foundation so that should tell you something too. Alright so next thing I'm going to go in with is concealer. This is the e.l.f. HD lifting one in the color Fair. I'm also just spot concealing. For this look, I'm just going to be adding blush. This is Tarte Blushing Bride. I want like a pinky color. And we're going to apply from the apple of the cheek going upwards. Be careful of how much you put on because it's going to stick on more right now because we did not set the foundation. So your foundation is a little bit wet and then the powder is sticking on well. So a little goes a long way and just keep building it up to your desired blushness. Next thing I'm going to do is just fill these babies in. I do love using the Ardell Stroke Brow, so that's what I'm going to be using for my brows, but I'm just going to do it off camera. So next thing we're going to add is some highlighter. This is by Laura Geller. This is the Baked Gelato one in Diamond Dust. It's an ultimate favorite of mine. It's beautiful. And now moving on to eyes, I am going to be using a white eyeshadow base just because we're using a matte color and it's on the lighter side. So I feel like certain matte shades don't like to stick on so well, so that's why I'm using a white base instead of just concealer. And don't bring it all the way up, we're just doing it where we're placing the shadow. So you want to fade it out into the crease. Okay, so for the color, you're going to want to choose like a pastel color. If you don't have a pastel color, then you can also kind of just mix and match with white um, to make it a little bit lighter. I did find a blue that I really like, and the color is right here. You can also use like a lavender, a light pink, anything your little heart desires as well. And just try it out and have fun with it. And just to make sure everything is nice and blended, I am taking a fluffy brush and we're going to use that same color and just help fade out that crease. And if you're getting any harshness, I am taking that concealer brush that we used before and softening out the edges too. And just make sure to really pack on this color so everything is even throughout. Again, matte shadows don't like to kind of sit nicely. We're going to add that same highlighter for the inner corner. Curl your lashes. Add some mascara. It can be black, it could be blue, it could be whatever you really feel. I just use burgundy on a daily basis, so this is the voluminous one. And lastly, we're going to add some lip liner. This is NYX in Natural, one of my all-time favorites as well. It's kind of like an everyday color for me. And 
then to make it a little bit lighter, we're going to be using this NARS lip gloss. This is Turkish Delight. All right, guys, here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a spring trend that I'm actually loving. I love pastel colors, so it's totally me. Uh, if you guys try this look out or recreate it or maybe with a different color, please tag me in my Instagram. Uh, the hashtag is Paulina underscore Allura. I will put it right here for you guys. I would love to see if you guys uh, wear this look. I think it's super fun and different, but also just awesome. All right, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, take care. Bye.